how are you? Welcome to this new class. Today we are going to talk about will versus going to. This is a class that you already uh, know, but today we are going to practice uh, the differences between will and going to. It's important that you pay attention because you will use this uh, or you are going to use this. Mm. Well, let's see the class and then when the class finishes, you could know if we will see or we are going to see. See you in the presentations. Hi kids, today we are going to talk about going to versus will. Uh, this is part of the unit 9 that's entertainment. Um, well, I made a chart for you where you can find the differences between going to one wheel. If you remember, the going to and the wheel are the both are used to explain uh, or to express the future. Okay, for example, will uh, you can say I will be there with you. Okay, and the going to I am going to the mall in the after okay but when we can use them can we use them when can we use them and uh, what is the differences between the both the both of them let's talk about this we have will plus infinitive and be going to plus infinitive will uh, with the will uh, we have a decision at the moment of, of speaking. For example, Julie, there is no milk. John, really? In that case, I will go and get some. Okay? If you see, John didn't know about, eh, about the milk. He eh, knew it at the moment and decided at the moment go and get some. The difference between will and going to is the the going to it's a decision before speaking okay you already have the decision when you are talking julie there is no milk john i know see the difference i know i'm going to go and get some when this tv program finishes okay did you see with the first one uh, you take the decision at moment with other one you already know the decision a prediction based on opinion this is so important because uh, you are explaining about your own opinion or the opinion of someone else but it's not not a fact okay i i think the conservative will win the next election we are talking about the things that we think, okay? Or another person, but it's a thought, okay? It's not a fact. In the case of going to, it's a prediction based on something that we can see or hear now, okay? We have proof. The conservatives are going to win the election. They already have most of the votes. Did you see a difference? In this one, I already have the information uh, because I know it's a fact. With will, uh, it's not a fact, it's just an opinion, okay? And the last uh, way to express it is with a future fact. The sun will rise tomorrow. And finally, for promises, requests, refusals, and offers. And offers, I'm sorry. I will help you tomorrow if you like. If you don't like, I won't help you. <laughs> it's a joke, but uh, it's true. You have that uh, tips to use it. Second, uh, we use after certain words when the sentence has a future meaning. These words are before after as soon until and when i will call you when i get home she is going to study after she finishes dinner please drink some water as soon as you complete the race 
it's important that you know this this is a plus of the class because well we already know everything about the class in the last slide okay the most important part but this is a bonus that is important uh, that we know because we need to help the the sentence to be understood okay and well kids uh, this is all for today see you in the real life class well kids this is all for today remember that if you have any question you can send me an email or leave me a comment in the google classroom remember that it's so important that you ask if you have any question thank you for uh, the attention and see you in the next class bye